Now, my friend Eddie uh, asked the question, what's a good compression that will keep a nice quality video? Well, the first thing that comes when I hear compression at this point in time and video is MPEG-4 H.264, which is a high compression but keeps great quality. Now, to get that kind, th that um, I'm not too experienced with how they do that on Windows, but um, maybe the latest Windows Movie Maker might be able to do it. I'm sure Adobe Premiere can. On the Mac side, I'm, uh, which is what this question I'm going to base around because Eddie's using a Mac and I use a Mac and it's it's just the the best way I can answer this at the moment. If you have Final Cut Pro or uh, QuickTime Pro and QuickTime Pro is only like a twenty thirty dollar purchase, it's really worth it if you want to do any kind of video stuff uh, because they, it comes with um, a whole bunch of other like extended uh, compression compressors and stuff like that. Uh, Eddie said he wanted to just record something that he can put on his computer so uh, from his webcam. So he, he's he got the webcam and uh, you can record straight into a program like iMovie uh, which comes with the Mac or uh, I mean there's a, an array of like different things you can record with but I mean the Macs come with iMovie so it's probably the easiest, thing, easiest program to record something in. Then you can you can export from iMovie, but it's very limited in what it can export as. Uh, you can export for iPod, which is probably the best bet because that exports as an MPEG-4 H.264, and it's it takes it down to 320 by 240 width uh, like dimensions. So and then that's pretty good if you if you do end up wanting to put that onto the web, that's a good size and it makes it a very low file size with a good quality. And then, of course, you can put that onto your iPod as well and do a bunch of other things with it. You can also um, play around in iDVD if you want to do stuff like that. And you can make it an email size, which is just even smaller and very high compression and probably not that good quality. The be so the best thing, if you're doing an iMovie and you don't have QuickTime Pro or anything like that, uh, is just to export for, di for, um, for an iPod version which is uh, just you go down to file export and then click the little iPod button and if you want to put it on the web straight away and like you're not too bothered about if it's on your desktop or not there are some web uh, services which can do that for you you can use YouTube they can you can record stuff straight onto YouTube now with your webcam and or any camera that you've got plugged into your computer and you can use like other websites like vidler.com and um, there's a few more which you can capture straight to the websites and I'll probably put whatever post this whatever I post this on I'll put it on there uh, the links to those things but yeah um, that's probably the, the easiest way I'd like to make hard compressed videos mainly um, to save space on uh, your computer and if you're putting it on the web to save space on the web and upload times and all that kind of thing um, Eddie just said that um, his camera doesn't work in iMovie uh, and it, it should you just have to probably select the, the correct camera under the camera sources and I mean if it if the camera doesn't work then obviously you might have to update some drivers or something like that update the software for it on your computer so, uh, yeah, that's all about video and compression.